Hello there, welcome back to another video. In this video, I'll guide you step by step on how to root your OnePlus 7 or OnePlus 7 Pro with Magisk and install TWRP. If you follow any other routing tutorial that was made months ago, you will end up in a boot loop as routing tutorials made for OnePlus 7 Pro running Android 9 will not work on OnePlus 7 Pro running Android 10. Before we get into this video, make sure you've taken necessary backup of all the data in your device as this method will wipe your phone. Also make sure you have an unlocked bootloader. This is mandatory. If you don't know how to unlock the bootloader of your OnePlus device, don't worry. Just follow the steps from the video in the link in the description or in the card above. Also make sure to subscribe to this channel and hit that bell icon to get notified every time I post a new video. Now that you've done that, let's get started. Unlock your phone and go to settings. Go to the last option in settings that says about phone and tap on build number 7 times. You will enable developer options. Now go back, go to system, go to developer options. Now swipe up, under debugging section you will find an option called USB debugging. Turn it on, hit OK and hit allow. Now you will see that OEM unlocking is already turned on. That's because at this point you will have an unlocked bootloader in your device. After that, connect your phone to your Windows PC and now swipe up to the notification share and make sure you have file transfer enabled. Go to the first link in the description below which takes you to the Android platform tools page and download the platform tools based on your operating system. I would recommend a Windows PC throughout this process. After that, go to the XDA link and scroll down to the download section and download the latest TWRP unofficial Q version and the latest TWRP unofficial installer. After you do that, go to the next link which takes you to the github page and download the latest magisk.zip file make sure to download the latest version now scroll down to magisk manager and download the latest magisk manager apk file once you download all the four files now copy the magisk zip file twrp zip file and the magisk manager apk file Copy and paste it into the internal storage of your mobile phone. I would recommend you to paste it in the downloads folder for easy reachability throughout the process. After that, open platform tools and open a command prompt window. Then type in the command adb space devices and hit enter. If you see a string followed by the word device, that means your phone has been detected successfully. If you see unauthorized, make sure you allow for the pop-up that appears on your phone and repeat the command again. This time you will see device instead of unauthorized. If you still have any problem, make sure to download and install OEM drivers from the link in the description below. After that, type in the command adb space reboot space bootloader and hit enter. Your phone will now switch back on into fast boot mode. Give it its time. Once that's done, type in the command fast boot space boot space. Now go back to the folder and drag and drop the TWRP image file. Make sure you drag and drop the TWRP image file and not the zip file. And hit enter. Your phone will now temporarily boot into TWRP recovery. Once your phone switches back on into TWRP recovery, 
you can now disconnect your phone from your PC and proceed with the following steps. We will now install TWRP permanently in your phone. In order to do that, first swipe to allow modifications. Now go to install and go to the downloads folder and select the TWRP zip file. Select the TWRP zip file and swipe to confirm flash. This will take a few seconds to complete. Once that's done, you can wipe Dalvik and go to home, then select install. You will now select the Magisk zip file and swipe to confirm flash. Remember, you must have taken required backup before as this will wipe your entire phone's internal storage. Once Magisk has been installed, you can now wipe Dalvik, go home, go to reboot and select system. You can now wait for your phone to boot back on. Once your phone boots back on, unlock it as you normally would and go to file manager. Now go to the downloads folder and select the Magisk manager apk file. Your phone will not allow you to install it so go to settings and allow from the source. Go back to file manager and install it. Now open Magisk manager, you can now see that your phone has Magisk and Magisk Manager installed which is up to date. Your phone is now rooted. You can now install different Magisk modules and enjoy your rooted OnePlus device. Thank you for watching. If you have any doubts or queries, make sure you drop them down in the comments below and I will respond to each and every one of you. Subscribe for more OnePlus related content. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.